Welcome. Thank you for being here this morning. It's not an accident that you are here this morning. Let's bow in prayer. Pastor Phil is doing the organ this morning, so you're stuck with me. Lo, we just thank you for this beautiful morning with the sun shining and the crisp air. Thank you for, for your creation that you, you put your, your work on display for us this morning. Thank you for your love for us, Lord. Just come with us this morning. Have us to worship you in a, in a great new way this morning. Just thank you for, for the blessings that you give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Well, we're going to lead our service off with a couple of hymns. And uh, oh, Worship the King is on page 104, or you can use the overhead here. And we're going to do verses 1, 2, and 5. After verse 5, we're going to do the optional ending. Okay? And then from the optional ending, Phil's going to make just a very short transition to majesty, which is on page 10. Uh, it'll flow right in. So we want you to stand. And we came to worship the king today, didn't we? If we did, say amen. Amen. Right on verse 1. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above, in faithfully sing His wonderful love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilion in splendor and girded with praise. Verse 2. Will of his might and sing of his grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space, his chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is his path on the wings of the storm. Verse 5, then we go to the option. All hail to the King in his I think we're already in the option. Till the descends to the plains, Jesus. All glorious, our victory will win. To see majesty, worship his majesty. Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, come from his throne unto his own, his men's embrace. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus, magnify. Come glorify Christ Jesus, the King. Sing it out. Majesty, worship His majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. You may be seated. Good morning. Our scripture reading is in Philippians 2, verses 1 through 11. In the, in the Pew Bible, it is page 1162.
if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded and having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being a maid in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Would you pray with me, please? O oh God, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, my strength and my redeemer. Father, we come before you this morning praising you for your great mercy, for your love, for your compassion, for your truth. Lord, especially this week, we, we are focusing on that. <clears throat> we confess that we often do things for our own glory and not for yours. We're often more concerned with our appearance and others' opinion of us and our accomplishments than with your getting the glory through us. Jesus, when we think this Palm Sunday and meditate on how you had emptied yourself of all of your visible glory, to take that <coughs> form of a man to ride down the streets of Jerusalem in your triumphal entry. And yet you were getting ready to walk that road to the cross, willing to suffer and die for us, you who knew no sin. It's still hard, even after all these years, for me to think about that, what you did for us. Lord, we're just overcome with gratitude, I know, all of us, for all that you did. As we think about your taking on all of those sins, Lord, you who knew no sin, you who loved us to the very last moment, please help us to remember that sacrifice this week, the great sacrifice you made to become a servant. Help us to keep our hearts and our minds focused on you. Help us to always be thinking and working for the good of your people and for your glory. Help us through our own physical, <coughs> mental, and emotional infirmities to be glad that we, we can share in your suffering. Help us to speak your precious name to others and to share our faith that those who do not yet know you will be moved to bend their knees and to acknowledge you as Savior and Lord. Help us, dear Jesus, to be focused on those around us and on how we can help them even as you helped us. And Father, thank you that eventually we will be able to share in your glory and see you as you are meant to be seen as we rejoice in glory with you. Thank you again for this week, for all you did in Jesus' name, amen. Luke wrote, as he started the life of Christ, he said, Christ stood up in the middle of the, in the sanctuary of their worship spot and said, I am here today proclaiming that this is the beginning of the time of God's favor. And as Jesus, at the end of his earthly walk, came into Jerusalem, people lined the streets and said, this is the day of the favor, because blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
We're going to sing a song that actually takes us to the next time that's proclaimed. It was proclaimed at the beginning of Christ's life. It was proclaimed at the end of his earthly life. And it will be proclaimed one more time when he comes back to restore this world to what it is. And we will say those are the days of Elijah, the proclaiming the favor of God upon mankind. Let's stand and sing that song that takes us into the Jubilee of Christ. Children have come to proclaim that the Lord has come. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
it's like this, it's like this, it's like this. You got it? Let's do it. Yes. Jesus loves me. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Kids, thank you. Let me share a few announcements and things. Uh, can you pop up our announcement list? Just a few things. This is the week that we have uh, all of our Easter things. Go to our next slide, if you would. Our Wednesday night events will not be taking place this week. So the slide is just to remind me to say that. We have Journey to the Cross that starts on Wednesday night. I'm going to send around a couple papers uh, for that. One of them says I'd be willing to help with the setup. That would be either this afternoon, 2 to 3 or 4, or Monday, sometime during the afternoon, evening of Monday, or Tuesday, if needed, and I'll call you if it's still needed at that point, to help set the rooms up and put the lines on the floor and do all that kind of stuff, the decorating, the lights, and all that kind of stuff. So if you're willing to help with that, it's on this sheet here. But they're all going to go around on one tablet, so you can look through the pages to see what you need to do. The second one is several of you signed up already. I know Lorraine's on this list. People that would love to come and help and be the greeters of when people come in to start them through. So as people come and find their golfers tea time, all right, so you understand what I mean. Uh, as they come in for their tea time, the greeter will give them some instructions and prepare them for how to go through the course, so to speak, golfing terms. And then pray with them before they start through the journey. So if you're willing to come and be a greeter, that means sitting at the table, greeting people as they come in, and then starting them through the time they're assigned and praying with them before they do that. Here are the five. It's Wednesday, Thursday evenings, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and then Saturday evening. You can sign up for as much as you like, but we probably only need two people signed up at any one time. It'd be great to have two people there. So that's this. Carol's got a list here. If you've not signed up for the Lenten meal, please do so. It's on the sheet here and going around. If you've not already put your name down for that Friday night program for Good Friday, you want to be here. You're going to be here on Friday. You're going to be the, the York Street Baptist Players are presenting a tremendous musical that is the Good Friday story. And uh, it's just, it's going to be great to come and, and participate in that. Tom LaValle, pastor at Spruce Creek, is going to preach a brief time to us. We're going to have a time of worship, communion, and it all starts off with a nice Lenten meal. So sign up for that if you would. I'm sending this around. Ushers, if you'll come forward. Uh, sunrise service will be at 6 o'clock at Short Sands. We're going to actually use the pavilion that's closest to the beach, but we're just advertising it as Short Sands, and you'll find us there if you look for the canopy area by the beach. And then, of course, um, Sunday morning worship right here. Father, bless the offering as we take it now. We want you to, uh, to pass on what you've given to us, the blessing you've given to us. We want to see that bless other people with the gospel of Christ. So use this, we pray, as our offering to them and to the glory of your son's name. Amen. I think there's another slide up there, probably Lane. That's the last one. Today we're actually back into Luke. It's a tremendous passage that leads us into who this one was, this triumphant Christ. He shows up today as the, the Christ who is Lord, not just over our broken world, but he's Lord over our broken lives. Uh, healing body and soul today from the book of Luke, talking about a leper and talking about a paralytic. I think those are announcements. I didn't hand out uh, slips. Um, we have Nicole and John Osgood are going to talk to us about Journey to the Cross. We want to spend a little time encouraging each other to take part in that. Uh, we, if you've not done the journey, you, this should be your first year. And if you have done the journey, you know that you want to come back and do it again. Already the phone has started ringing in my office saying from people outside our church saying, when is the journey going to take place? Uh, is it the same as last year? Can we take